Hi, welcome to a new week of Climbing Daily where we're starting off with three awesome videos. We're sport climbing with Stefan Glovac and Chris Sharma, nighttime soloing with Alex Honnold, and some illegal activity in New York. Last week we reported on a secret project involving Chris Sharma and Stefan Glovac. Well, we found out what the plan was that they made the first ascent of the second largest cave in the world. It's in Oman, it's 160 metres deep and it required 13 pitches with difficulties up to 8B. Here's the video, my favourite bit was Chris Sharma falling off proving that everyone is human. The hardest thing in, in climbing is when yeah, to do something that's never been done before. Once it's done, it's much easier to reach that level because you know it's possible. We wanted to make a proper free climb there. That means to use the rope and the pitons and the poles uh, in case of a fall and uh, to move up just on a, a natural structure of the rock. For the route to really go, we have to you know, climb every single meter of the rock. And there was a section of about three meters that I wasn't able to connect. Come on, Chris. Sharma, what a punter. Just pull a bit harder. Up next, we've got this amazing video that's just been released of Alex Honnold soloing the nose of El Capitan at night in 2012. Soloing the route would be hard enough during the day, but he sets off at half past nine at night, finishes six hours later, having done the whole thing in the pitch black. As if that wasn't enough, he'd already soloed Mount Watkins, and after the nose, he was headed for the northwest face of Half Dome. Climbing through the night, your body like wants to fall asleep, and you just you're just tired. And you're so lonely and it's dark and it's like, it's like, it's kind of sad climbing through the night. You're just living inside this little bubble of your headlamp. You can only see like six or eight feet around you. Climbing move after move for 3,000 feet. That looks way easier at night not being able to see the drop. And finally, following on from the explosion of scaffold climbing films that we've seen on the internet, we hear that a 16 year old in New York City managed to get to the top of the One World Trade Center, the US's highest building, to take some pictures at night. He's been arrested and the security guard has been released. The camera that the kid used has been confiscated, but you never know, someone in NYPD might stick them on YouTube. That's it for today. Don't forget to enter the Arcteryx Academy competition. Go to arcteryxacademy.com, click on the contest tab and enter your name. And we'll see you tomorrow. 8C or harder, and his 90th 9A. The people second to Adam for 9As climbed and 8C or harder on site.